Hey guys, Pete Tverdov here with Tverdov Housing. I wanted to give you a monthly update for the month of August in the New Brunswick housing market. Pay attention because uh, I, one of these things I have not seen before since uh, filming these, and I think it's something to monitor. So on the single family side, what we have seen is days on market actually dropped a little bit from 30 to 25, so deals went under contract a little bit quicker. Uh, the average closing price, uh, nearly $480,000, or, or excuse me, nearly $470,000. Uh, which is one of the highest numbers we've seen. It's been consistently in the mid fours throughout 2024. Uh, list price to sales price ratio is still 101%, so still on average, single family homes, townhomes, and condos are going above asking. But what it's very interesting, 26 active listings, okay? The previous month was five. So five times as many single family houses were dumped onto the market in August. And I, I felt that as a listing agent and working with buyers, I've seen it and I've noticed that like the, the market for August has gotten softer. Um, what does that mean? Like I'll, I'll talk more about that towards the end of this video. Now on the multifamily side, also a different story. Uh, only three deals closed in the month of July, okay? Which is a, about average, a little bit under average, nothing too alarming. 46 days on market, um, again, multifamily, Days on market, you don't worry that much about because it's it's a different market. The average uh, sales price was down for the uh, for the month of August, and list price to sales price ratio was under asking. But again, even on the multifamily side, in July there was three active listings, August 15. Okay, so we probably got conservatively four months of multifamily inventory dumped on the market in one month, and we got five months or four months of single family inventory dumped on the market in one month. So what's interesting is rates are trending lower, but if this much inventory is coming onto the market, I think even with rates dropping, I think it's gonna make prices softer. And I've talked to other agents in other towns. This is not just a New Brunswick issue. This is an issue we've seen, um, or I've personally seen in a couple towns. So what does it really mean? I think it means that the market has had a humongous run up in the last three or four years and maybe at least for this past month it's cooled off a little bit we're also ending the end of summer right which is not unusual to see the market slowing down a bit we are heading into a presidential election there's a lot of unknowns right like housing will go in many different directions depending if it's trump or harris so that's something to keep an eye on but um this is the first time i've seen this is the first month i've seen this much inventory dumped onto the market uh, at once. So I'm going to be very curious to see what the September numbers are. And once I do, I am uh, going to give you that information. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I find it very interesting. I'm going to bring this information to my clients that I talk to on the listing side and on the buy side. And I hope it helps you guys.